goodies. Today I'm going to be doing a what's new at Sephora haul. I have a lot of fun goodies to show you. I did do some damage in store, so I purchased some of these on my own, but there are a few things that I did get sent that I still want to share since they are new at Sephora and they're really awesome. But I'll make sure to mention which ones those are. And, and I will make sure to have everything linked down below for you guys for easy access, easy shopping, and let's just go ahead and get into it. As you can probably tell, background is very different. I'm actually filming in front of a natural light window at my parents' house in their extra bedroom. So this is not a background that you're going to see very often. And you can see that I'm just in a plain top because the most I can do right now is some fancy makeup and that's about it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into the haul. So I have a bag stuffed to the gills full of makeup here. So I'm going to first talk about the products that I personally picked up. Okay guys, and also please be patient with the coloring, lighting, we're kind of doing a test run here to see if I'll be able to film here for a little bit until I'm better and can film at home. So okay, so the first thing I purchased was the new First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer, and it says safe for sensitive skin. I really love this brand because it really is good for sensitive skin, people that even have eczema or rosacea, anything like that, this brand is really recommended, and it's very cost effective. It's not that expensive considering it's sold at Sephora. So I really do love this brand and support them and have repurchased the under eye cream. You guys know I love that. So I'm just going to go ahead and read what it's all about on the box here. It's a coconut skin smoothie that creates a smooth canvas that's perfectly prepped for makeup and no makeup days. It kind of has a slight coloring to it. So I think that's why they say for no makeup days. And it says it's super food powered priming moisturizer has electrolyte rich coconut water base and contains minerals quinoa protein and hydrators that act like a replenishing drink for the skin and it smells so good like coconut and you guys know I'm all about anything coconut scented and I like the coloring on the packaging it's just and I love squeezy tube kind of things too so you can get every little bit out and I used this today and it felt really hydrating on the skin it didn't mess with my makeup so far so good um, it doesn't really fill in any pores or prime your skin in that regard which I usually like my primer to do that so I probably will use this mostly as a moisturizer but yeah it smells so so good like a coconut beach day and it's just really silky smooth and I think I will continue to really enjoy it especially in the drier months of winter. The next thing is from NARS and a lot of you if you've been with me for a while know that I am obsessed with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. That is in a doe foot applicator. It's more of like a creamy concealer that highlights at the same time and I'm in the shade Vanilla. Well NARS just came out with a new concealer. It's called the Soft Matte Complete Concealer and I am again in the shade Vanilla. It it's probably about a shade lighter than my natural skin tone because I do want that brightening effect. But I used this actually today around my nose because I had some redness and I used it under my under eyes. Man, my highlight's popping today. I'll talk, talk about that in a second. <laughs> but under my eyes, you can see it's very smooth. It didn't crease. So I do have a few fine lines under my eyes that concealers, sometimes if they're too thick, um, too high coverage they can collect there if I'm not careful about setting right away. This definitely has not since I've tried it and a little goes a long way. The only thing I don't really like is having it in a pot because I did use my finger today. I think in the future I will try and use a concealer brush instead to apply this but so far I'm really enjoying it. Um, it doesn't give a ton of brightness but I use the Hourglass Brightening Powders. Um, I'll link that down below for you guys too because I talk about that all the time. In Diffused Light, um, it's their Ambient Powders. I use that to set my under eyes and that gives a lot of brightness on its own. So I think the two together are really making a good combo so far. And I feel like this is going to last me longer even than the liquid. All right, moving on to a highlight. And this actually is not the one I have on my skin right now, but I'll get to that in a second. But I am impressed so far by what I see from this. So this is the Sephora brand. They came out with a new highlighting palette. And it has six shades, and it's called Illuminate. And it kind of has, like iridescent letters there. What makes me really impressed by this palette is that it's $28, but you get six shades, so pretty much you're getting six shades instead of buying one from Becca for $30, so 
comparison there. And this contains microfine pearls and instant radiance is what they're claiming. And what I noticed from this palette is that there's no chunky glitter particles, which I really appreciate because some highlights can have that chunkiness and then it really gets in your pores and makes it very apparent on the skin unless you have perfect skin. So I can tell just by looking at it that there's not a ton of glitter or fallout. I'm trying to show you it without the light glaring on it. There you go. So you can see that there is like a darker golden shade here, a more yellow toned, a pinker shade. There's two kind of more pinky shades here. And this is a, like a lighter golden and then a very pure white shade. So if you're extremely fair and you're looking for a very like pure white, you're going to really, really close up of the Sephora ones. They are swatched. There's even one right here. I'm not sure if you can see it as well, but it's like a metallic pink. These are very shiny, like metallic looking. Like these are your BAM highlights as well. There's nothing subtle about these babies. This gold definitely will be an eyeshadow for me because <laughs> it's so dark, but it's so pretty enjoying it I'll definitely get back to you on my thoughts on this as I use it more but I think the packaging is really nice too I mean it's not luxury you know it still kind of does look a little bit plastic and cheap but it is affordable which is really great and you can see the colors through the packaging which I like too next is a product that has been definitely hyped on YouTube recently and I really feel like it deserves that hype because these are amazing I am wearing the shade that I recently purchased on my eyes today this is the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow one from my good friend and subscriber Emily thank you so much again Emily her name is Emmy Loves Makeup here on YouTube and she sent me one of these in a care package in the rose gold retro shade and I've been using it like crazy I absolutely love it so what these are they're a liquid eyeshadow obviously but they contain glitter in them but because it has a liquid base it really applies the glitter so easily and it sticks and it stays and it dries down so beautifully I don't see creasing or it flaking off and cracking off my eyes at all I can layer shadows on top of these beautifully they work really really well so I'm very impressed with them I literally want every single one of them but um, I resisted and just picked up one more. I really want the kitten one, but that was sold out at my Sephora. Um, but the one I ended up picking up was Smoldering Satin, and that's the one I have on my lids today. I didn't put a shadow on top of it so that you could actually see the coloring a little bit. This is the rose gold one. As you can see, it does have a very strong coppery rose gold base and like I said I'll make sure to do close-up swatches for you and the smoldering satin has more of a taupey brown base with silver glitters well kind of silver and gold glitters I would say so this is the one I have on my eyes today I just know that these are shades that I will wear and pretty much wear probably all year round they have a really beautiful gold and a silver both of those I feel like are more party eyes for me I wouldn't wear those all the time but the kitten shade that's definitely one I have to pick up so definitely suggest getting your hands on right, guys so here is a smoldering satin and here is the rose gold I think it was retro rose gold they are so pretty So this first one is from Clinique, and it's the Pop Liquid Matte Lip Color Plus Primer. And first off, I really do like the packaging. It has a mirrored silver cap and then a kind of cloudy glass bottom where you can see the color through it. There are eight different shades, and if you can believe it, this is the lightest shade. There's not a really nude shade. This is more like a baby pink, in my opinion, kind of nudish. Um, but out of all the eight shades, this is the only light one. And the other ones are quite bright or dark, so probably not something I would pick up multiple colors of. But I do really appreciate this formula. It feels really good on the lips because of that priming agent. It doesn't feel drying. It doesn't give you that cracked, ugly look on your lips. Um, they do claim that it's long wearing. Let's see, it's called... They say the lightweight liquid lipstick covers lips with lush pigment and a modern matte finish that lasts all day. I don't agree with that. And then it says its moisturizing formula has built in primer that provides a smooth, even glide. I do agree with that. Um, I just feel that because it's not a dry formula, 
it doesn't completely set on your lips, so once you eat or drink, it's gonna come off a bit. It stains the smallest amount, it's not like a strong um, stain, but it does wear off really beautifully. It's not patchy or wearing off just in the center of the lips, it wears off pretty even. So overall, I still think it's a really great product, I just don't agree with them saying it lasts all day. And this color is really, really pretty, I think. The applicator is a little bit fatter than a normal doe foot applicator. It comes to a point and it soaks up a ton of product. Um, it's very easy to apply the lip product. It does have like a slight pleasant, like almost vanilla scent, kind of a sweet scent, like a sweet perfumey scent, but it doesn't have any kind of taste on the lips. So overall really pretty and if you like brighter darker colors you'll probably really like the rest of the color range the next product is another liquid lipstick this is from Marc Jacobs and these are brand new to their line there are six different shades I have the shade fawn over me which I believe is one of the lightest there's one other that's a little bit like a brownish nude this has more of a coralish nude coloring to it Again, beautiful packaging. Marc Jacobs always has beautiful packaging. And you can actually see the color of the liquid lipstick in the circle right on bottom there. So that's pretty cool. And this does have more of a doe foot applicator. This is like a true doe foot applicator though. And it has like a little divot so it really does collect enough product to get all over your lips. Go ahead and swatch this right now for you guys. But it's a beautiful creamy formula definitely feels hydrating on the lips. I know that it is formulated, I'm reading from my phone here, with a few ingredients that make it that really moisture feeling. It has, says Brazilian capacho butter and collagen. So it is supposed to kind of plump the lips a little bit. I didn't see that happening, but it feels really good and it makes your lips look really beautiful. So I'm all up for that. But as you can see, this nude does have a bit of a coral tone to it. The other shades are really beautiful too. They are a range of nudes, six shades of nudes, ranging from like deeper nudes to lighter nudes, cooler tones and warm tones, really beautiful. They are full coverage right away. You don't have to build it up. So that's really good, especially when it's a pricey product. It's $28, so you don't want to have to continuously apply it. This does say that it's an eight hour wear. I have not worn this for eight hours to test that out yet for you. But I do know that it doesn't dry down just like this Clinique one um, because it has that moisturizing agent to it. It doesn't completely set, which is good because you don't get dry lips, but might not be so good for the wear time. So I'll get back to you on that. Let's okay. watch the Clinique one next to it just so you can see the different coloring. As you can see the Clinique, this is shade number one, Cake Pop. It's definitely more pink, but it's still a really beautiful beautiful nude. The Clinique formula I forgot to mention is a little bit more watery going on, whereas the Marc Jacobs has a little bit of a moussier texture in my opinion. It's a little bit thicker than the Clinique. Both beautiful though and the Clinique's a little bit less expensive, so if you wanted like a more bold color range, I'd go with that. If you want more nudes and a moussey formula, I'd go with the Marc Jacobs. Okay, the next few items are brand new to Sephora, and I'll link them down below. However, I did receive them through PR. So the first is from Tarte. You guys, I'm so pumped that Tarte sent me these products because I was obsessed with the Rainforest of the Sea collection last year that was brand new that year. Well, they came out with volume two of the eyeshadow palette as well as a highlight palette. I am wearing a few of the shadows on my eyes today from this one. This is called the Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 Eyeshadow Palette. Look at this beautiful packaging though. Isn't that stunning? And it's gold mirrored on the back. It has a large mirror that I'm trying to cover up for you guys, but here are the beautiful shades. Really good range of neutrals. Um, there are a few mattes, let's see, one, two, three mattes possibly four. A few of them kind of swatch more satin matte, um, especially these deeper tones here, but the highlight shade, this one right here, I do have on my inner corner, and I do have a few of these browns right on the bottom here in my crease, and they blended really well. They went on easily, great pigment. I usually really do enjoy Tarte Shadows. I honestly think though the coloring in here, there's no really light brown shade for blending. So that's one thing that I would say I'm missing in this palette. So I probably still love the first one better than the second, but I can tell that they went just a little bit deeper in this one to try to give some variety. And I do appreciate that. So I'll make sure to swatch this for you. I won't be able to see this one as strong because it's 
a very matte cream tone close to my skin. But here's the highlight. And these two have a really pretty satin quality to them, the darker two here. And here is the Skin Twinkle Volume 2. Again, beautiful packaging. It does have gold mirrored packaging on the back. And then you get four highlight shades in this set. And there's a big mirror as well. I'm going to push it back here so you can see the true coloring. So there is a very, very like white light one right here. Then a more golden one. This has a bit of a peachier tone to it. And then you have the really deep golden tone here. Well, I kind of do it like that. You can see it a little bit better to, to the true coloring. These are what I call a BAM highlight. They are in your face, and that's what's on my face right now. I actually combined two shades. They're very prominent on your face. They're like, hey, I've got some highlight, and I, you guys know that I love that, but I'm saying that just in case someone likes more of a natural glow, because this is not your palette if you want natural. This is for in your face highlight, she looks like a glowing goddess. That's why you want this one. <laughs> I do appreciate that they kind of gave a range of colors, like this white one, again, another one just like the Sephora palette that will be so great on fair skin. It's actually too light for me. I thought, I'm pretty fair, I thought that would be fine on me, but I did end up having to combine these two shades in the middle to get my highlight today, um, and it's popping. <laughs> so I definitely do love these, and I will make sure to do close-up swatches again for you. The next product I want to talk about is from Estee Lauder. They did send me this, and they actually sent me every shade, so I'm really excited to be able to give some away to family and friends because I am really enjoying this foundation. It's called the Double Wear Nude Cushion Stick Radiant Makeup. Um, the packaging is probably the only thing I'm not in love with. You would think, since it has a huge cap right here, that that's where you pop the lid off. No, this is actually the lid, the little part here. And it has a cushion on the back. Oh, some foundation's coming out right now. I guess I'll go ahead and swatch it for you. This is my color right here, which is 1N2 Accru. It's perfect for me, I absolutely love it. So you twist the base to have the foundation come out of the cushion. There's like a little um, small dot in the center that it comes out of. And then you are supposed to just go ahead and apply it with this cushion. I do not like the applicator whatsoever. So what I do is I do go ahead and put a few streaks of the makeup from the applicator itself and then I use my beauty blender to blend it in. I have used a brush with it as well, it works okay it gets a little streaky with a brush so I really do recommend using a sponge with it or the actual applicator it comes with if you're okay with that um, you can just see it gets really dirty and I just don't feel like it's as sanitary you can't clean that off as much as you could a sponge and the formulation itself is a little bit more I don't want to say dewy because it's not. It just gives you a natural glow to your skin like you're, it's your own skin pretty much. And it blends in like a dream and it sets really well. Um, it is very light coverage. This is not a full coverage foundation whatsoever. You could try to build it up a little bit, which I have in certain areas, but my skin does shine through still, which I like for everyday wear. Um, I know a lot of people don't. They want full coverage every single day, and so this wouldn't be a foundation for you. I also really like that this foundation comes in a large range of colors, so hopefully you can find your best coloring. I know 1N2 Accru is in their other line of, of foundations as well, because I've used that shade before in their regular Double Wear foundation. Foundation. So hopefully there's an exact match for you as well. I know that they're sold on Sephora, but also on their website and overall I really enjoy it. I do feel that if I don't set this foundation, it claims to last eight hours. I wouldn't say that last eight hours on my nose area. A lot of you know if you've watched me for a while, foundation just does not like to stay on my nose. So that's a true test to a foundation. Um, but because it's such like a light wear, feels like nothing on my skin, I work with it. I set it, make sure to set it with a powder foundation so that it stays all day for me. And yeah, really enjoying it so far. I know a few of you were curious about this when I showed it on the vlog, so I wanted to make sure to get back to you. Next, I want to show you a new product from Hourglass. They have these really beautiful new lipsticks. There are 20 shades. They sent me three of the shades that I'm going to share with you right now. But the main thing about this that I think is really cool is the message behind it. So they did give me this little pamphlet here that also shows all 20 of the shades. You can get a sneak peek at that. But it says, um, each of the 20 shades in the Girl Lip Stylo collection is a reminder that we are all catalysts for good. Recognize the good in others and in yourself. 
and then it's hashtag girl for good recognition not competition so just finding like your inner beauty and just recognizing that and not comparing yourself to others and competing with others which I feel is a really good statement for us ladies here on YouTube because I feel like we should just be supportive of our differences and what makes our channels beautiful and ourselves beautiful and that goes out to you guys too. Um, I think that's a really good message to be giving everyone. So this range, there's definitely some really beautiful nudes and then they have some deeper like berry reds and just really wearable colors though I've noticed in this line there's nothing like very bold crazy out there and each one of the lipsticks has really cute names I think like believer creator explorer seeker like an adjective that describes the girl you are so hopefully you guys can see all that alright so here are the beautiful lipsticks hourglass they are probably one of my all-time favorite brands because first of all their packaging always looks so glamorous luxurious like that deserves this is high-end packaging okay some high-end packaging I'm always like Lancome not to knock on Lancome but they came out with that new beautiful flower highlight it's in cardboard packaging and it's 60 bucks it's beautiful mind you but there's no way I would pay 60 bucks for cardboard packaging I would pay for beautiful packaging like this so this shade is called leader and it so this is called Leader, and these are Twist Up Crayon Lip Products. They have like a really nice hourglass scent to them. I can't, I say hourglass scent because their other lipsticks smell like this too. It's kind of like vanilla lemony. I don't know, I can't explain it, but this is really pretty. And these are more, they're very pigmented, but it's more like a built up color. So you could do a wash of color if you don't want it to be as bright as this, but this is like a really nice fun fuchsia pink. And these do have a little bit of a hydrating agent to them as well, so they're not drying, but they do, they have like a slight moisture-y glossiness to them, but nothing overwhelming. Oh, they're almost matte, but with a little hydration. This one is called Influencer, and it's a beautiful nude. I really, really love this one. It's more, a little bit more cool toned. It has a bit of a, like, mauve to it. I think that's really, really wearable. I think a lot of people will love this shade. And the last shade I have is Creator. They gave these specific ones, I think, to us YouTubers for a specific reason. <laughs> this one is like a really beautiful light baby pink. So pretty. I really do think I'm going to enjoy these a lot. So thank you to Hourglass. Last but not least is from Sol de Janeiro, and you guys know I love their Bum Bum Cream last year. I was obsessed with it. I actually really love their lip balm that just came out too. I'll insert a picture of it. It's so hydrating. It has like a really coconutty scent to it. I love it. But this is a new product from them as well and new to Sephora. It's the Acai Body Power Cream infused with the legendary wonders of Acai Oil. So this has an infusion of Amazonian acai oil, which is a super potent antioxidant powerhouse in its purest form is what it says. And it fights free radicals and replenishes the skin. So it's ultra hydrating. It also has the capacho butter and super conditioning coconut oil, which I believe is in their other bum bum cream. And the fragrance on this, you guys, smells so, so good. So instead of it being in their signature yellow packaging, it's in this beautiful plummy purple color. Isn't that so pretty to represent the acai? And let me open this up so you can, I just said so you can smell it. You guys can't smell it, I'm sorry. There's no smell of vision but I'm gonna smell it for you and just tell you how amazing it is. It has like a little bit of a pink tint. I don't know if you can tell that. Ah, oh, you guys, it smells so good. It's a little more floral. Then the other one, by the way, I'm in desperate need of really hydrating lotion, so this is gonna come to some good use after getting my cast off. So if you can see that, I'm sorry. As I was but saying, this fragrance is definitely a little bit more floral but and a little bit sweet, whereas the Bum Bum Cream has more of that coconutty vacation vibe to it. So it does smell different, but it smells definitely still delicious. And this is made in the USA. 
Alright guys, so that is it for what's new at Sephora, my little haul and a few PR goodies. I hope you enjoyed seeing and please give this a thumbs up if you enjoy hauls and seeing new goodies that I receive in PR and please subscribe if you're new. Also, there is a little bell symbol next to the subscribe button. Please click on that because that makes sure that you're informed every time a video comes out. YouTube's been having some glitches where it is pretty much unsubscribing people when they're not even wanting to be. So that helps to ensure that you keep updated with my channel and I'll see you again real soon. Bye.